Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about House of Earth and Blood. Welcome to Crescent City, or Lunathian, a world filled with magic and dangerous secrets. This is an urban fantasy story with Bryce Quinlan at the center of all the drama and excitement. She's half fae, half human, and unfortunately, a tragic event occurred in her life which changes her life forever causing her to join forces with a fallen angel to solve a series of brutal murders. You're probably wondering, what the heck is a fae? Well, um, there are many subgroups which I won't name, but in general, fays are a subspecies of veneer, and they are humanoid in nature. Uh, they have pointed ears and tan skin. Veneer are supernatural beings um, that live on Midgard and think of Midgard as like planet Earth. And then you also have humans um, who were enslaved by veneers and eventually given some rights. Um, there are houses that you belong to based on your species and that is um, House of Earth Blood, House of Sky and Breath, House of Flame Shadow, and House of Many Waters. I like dragons, so I would like to be in the House of Flame Shadows if I had a choice. I'm sure that there are other fantasy books that details violence in their book, uh, but this one was jam-packed. The author wasted no time in throwing us into the fire. I thought how she detailed the um, action scenes wasn't too violent or too gory. I really felt the intensity of it. Uh, in addition, I thought the pacing of the book was really good uh, from the world building, the action scenes, the dialogue, and character development. Uh, some of my favorite characters in the book, I have two of them. One is Fury Axtar. She's such a mysterious character. Everyone like fears her and she's such a, she, I feel like she's such a badass fighter. And the other character I like is Queen Viper. Um, she keeps her enemies close. She has information to share. Um, she watches out for her own and she tries to keep out of trouble. With everything, now there's some things I didn't like about this book. So the first one is I didn't really like the cheesy romance flirty dialogue in this book. I thought it could have been done a little bit better. Um, so um, I'll read a quote from the book and I'll ad admit some names and actions so because I feel like that might be a little bit of a spoiler but here it goes. So blank wriggled slightly against blank blank drawing a hiss from blank. What the heck does that even mean? When I think of a hissing noise I think of gas escaping, I think of snakes, and I think of someone whispering violently. You know, I'm not saying that I'm any better at writing flirty dialogue, but I just haven't read a fantasy book yet where they had great um, flirty talk. Uh, another thing that I didn't like about the book was honestly Bryce Quinlan. You know, I know she's the main character, but I didn't really appreciate the attitude that she gives everybody. Um, and some of you may think, you know, you know, those people that she gave attitude to, they may have deserved it. And I'm definitely not um, innocent in giving attitude. I've, I've also given attitude as well. But, you know, I think we can all agree um, you know, when someone has an attitude, it doesn't really lead to a productive conversation. You can also see in the book that she's very sarcastic. Um, and, you know, sometimes I think her sarcasm isn't appreciated, you know, especially like read the room, right? You know, sometimes um, depending on the situation you're in, uh, sarcasm isn't really appropriate and it can really come off as childish, um, selfish, and rude, in my opinion. So... Um, my key takeaway, I recommend you read this book. Um, well, first one, you know, what a gorgeous um, artwork that this book has. And then I'm currently reading the second book, as you can see here. And then I'm waiting for the copy of the third book to come. Like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like the book? Didn't you like the book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.